Although it's warm today, we all know winter weather can strike at any time, and the more knowledge we have, the better. Joining for us for tonight's case conversation is Brandon Bizey with the North Dakota Department of Transportation. Brandon, thank you for being with us. Yeah, thanks for having us. And Brandon, how can people utilize the Department of Transportation's array of tools in order to stay up to date on road conditions in our area? Yeah, we've got a whole bunch of tools to help the traveling public know before you go, um, including our ND Roads travel app, which you can access from a desktop computer, or we've got our, our mobile app devices as well. Um, or else we have other, other, other means of getting that information pushed right to you through our Gov Delivery system, where users can go out to our website and find the Gov Delivery link, and then sign up through their email or a text ser service and get these conditions pushed right to you, whether it's road closures or travel warnings or a any other information through our travel map. Right. It's not, ex in, it's not exclusively for our winter weather. There's uh, construction projects there on the summer, correct? Yeah, there's all kinds of information. All, a lot of our news releases and also construction, work zones, um, different commercial vehicle information restrictions and, and load restrictions and, and other stuff like that as well. Brandon, obviously, winter roads during the winter time can be a little bit treacherous. How important is it for people to stay up to date and receive these alerts that you mentioned? Oh, it's vitally important. Um, winter, winter travel in North Dakota is, can be a difficult thing, and we we strive for safety. Safety is our number one priority here at the DOT, and our plow operators and others across the state are working very hard to make sure that those roads are are safe. So. The more information we can give to the traveling public, the better informed they'll be, at, and they'll be able to plan their routes better, whether that's delaying their start time, leaving a little early, or canceling their trip altogether. And that's, that's the information that we want to get out there, whether it's through social media, our travel apps, or any of the push services that we do provide. All right. Brandon Bizey with the NDDOT, thanks for being here today. We appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thank you.